So I don't really have too many bookish goals. I try not to set too many bookish goals um, just because I don't want to make reading like this pressure kind of uh, thing because uh, I read for fun and um, and I want to enjoy the books that I read but um, I do have a couple of uh, books on my TBR that I do want to try and get to uh, this year they're kind of my big kind of books they're not really my like mashed potato books but they're kind of like big books that I bought and I haven't uh, touched or haven't um, picked up to read or anything like that so I thought I'd show you some of them um, just because uh, I feel like I need a little bit of a push to read these because they are taking up space I don't know if I will like them they're just you know I, I buy all of my books second hand now well mo most of them unless it's like a book that I am actually actively like wanting to buy um, then I would get it uh, brand new but for the most part I buy my books second hand so these books are just books that I sort of came across or Andrew came across them um, and thought I would enjoy so like I don't know too much about them but I have some interest in them they're just not really like on the top of the books that I want to read anyway so um, the first one is a big of uh, a bit of a big one and it's Tess of the Dervervilles by uh, Thomas Hardy this is a um, oh, what is it called oh, I forgot what this edition is called Reader's Digest um, edition apparently Andrew says that these Reader's Digest editions are only made in Australia or something like they they're only available in Australia he's never seen them on like um, American websites or anything like that I think they're really pretty we have a whole shelf of them that whole top shelf is um, is a lot uh, readers digest that we find secondhand they're really like hardcover they're well made um, they the paper is really nice and also a lot of them have really nice artwork um, like this one but yeah this is this is one that I've been wanting to read because I read uh, Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy and I really enjoyed his writing style and um, and I heard about this plot and I've heard people talk about this um, and I'm interested it's got I think it's got a lot more drama than Far From the Madding Crowd um, so yeah I do want to I want to get to this I want to see if Thomas Hardy is an author that I uh, want to read more from next I have um, this book that I didn't buy secondhand I did buy it brand new but it's uh, Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare the cool thing about this one and um is that it's large print um i found it large print or andrew found it for me large print and i really like tessa dare and so it is on my tbr that i want to read this year next i have the boyfriend list by e lockhart um this is a case of um andrew finding it secondhand and uh, he knows that I like We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and um, I've never heard of this one in particular. I've heard of uh, Fly on the Wall um, and I want to read that one but I've never heard of this one. So I have to try it, see if I like it. If I don't like it, I get rid of it or I try and sell it. If I do like it, then I keep it. Next, I have Kazu Ishiguro's The Remains of the Day. I've been wanting to read this one for ages, but it again, it's one of those books that it's. I, I just wanted to find it secondhand. I didn't really care about like reading it right, right here and now kind of thing. Um, so I finally found it secondhand, and I really like the cover. Uh, the font, I'm not too sure about. It's a little bit tight in terms of spacing. Um, and it's a little bit small, but I have always wanted to read this one because a lot of people say it's really good. The next one I have here is a Picnic at Hanging Rock. Um, 
Who is this by? By Joan Lindsay. Uh, this is an Australian classic. It's set in Melbourne or somewhere near Melbourne. I think it's like near Bendigo. Um, anyway, I came across this book um, like at a bookstore and then my sister was telling me that she was uh, going to Hanging Rock and she was like, do you know, you know that book Picnic at Hanging Rock? And I was like, oh yeah. I didn't know that that was um, like I, I I saw that book at the uh, at the bookstore like not that long ago and I didn't realize it was set in Melbourne. She's like, yeah, I'm going there, and then um, yeah, she kind of made me think about this book, and then I found it secondhand and um, for four dollars it looks like, and yeah, I mean I'm interested to. I'm also just like interested to read more like Australian uh, classics. Next, I have Suddenly You by Lisa Claypass. Um, I've never read a... Oh, have I read a Lisa? No, I don't think I've finished a Lisa Claypass book, but as you can um, tell by my, um, my little collection of historical romances, I have a lot of Lisa Claypasses because uh, I find them secondhand. And uh, she's alongside Tessa Dare she's an author that everyone raves about so I kind of want to start um with uh one and I didn't want to start with a series and this one is a standalone one that people like so um yeah I found the second hand and I I need to get to it because I need to figure out if I like her writing style and I like her books because if I don't then I can g get rid of all the other Lisa Claypass books that I have in my collection. Next I have The Stranger by Caroline B. Cooney. I've heard about this book uh, like a long time ago. It was around the time when I read Trick or Treat by Richie Tankersley Cusick and then that got me researching a lot of the um, point horror kind of late 80s early 90s um teen books that like apparently it was like this whole thing where R.L. Stein and a bunch of his friends like Christopher Pike and Richie Tankersley Cusick and things like that um they kind of came out with a lot of these like teen slasher horror kind of books and um, this is uh, one of them, and I've been wanting to read it. It's got a rip. I don't know where I found this. Found it secondhand, but yeah. Um, I have to get to this this year. Next, I have um, Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. Um, to be completely honest, <laughs> I didn't, I never thought about reading this book uh, because. Well, the font is really small and I just, I, and I never like, I never thought about reading other books by Charlotte Bronte except for Jane Eyre, but Andrew found this second hand and um, he thought I'd like it. So yeah, I'll try and read it, I guess. I don't know what it's about. Black Beauty by Anna Sowell, Sowell? I don't know how you pronounce her last name, Sewell. I don't know um but uh yeah i really like these children's vintage classics i have uh i have i catch but i catch the castle little princess anne of green gables peter pan and um yeah i thought it would be cool i had a point where i thought it would be cool to collect all of them because i really like them and because they're for children um, the font is huge, so I can like read it really easily, but I don't know if I want to read about a horse So I don't know. And then the next one I have a little princess um, By Frances Hodgson Burnett. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, so um, this is not a vintage one Did I just say I had this in vintage? I don't have this in vintage. I only have the secret garden, but um Yeah this is, uh, it's, even though it's not a vintage children's, the font is also pretty big and I, I really want to read this because, um, I don't know, 
everyone says it's good so anyway these are the books that i am gonna try and read this year uh because if i don't then um i can't get rid of them <laughs> because the rule is i have to read it to see if i like it before I'm allowed to get rid of it. Let me know if you've read any of these books and your thoughts. If you want to try and convince me to start with any one of them, uh, you can do so down in the comments. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.